Um, so today we're going to talk about sin. And you guys are going to have to use a little bit of your imagination since you can't be here with me. But I know that you can do it, and I know you're good at using your imaginations. So I'm going to have here a few things. We have some chocolate sauce. We have, and you know anytime I'm going to be here, things are going to get messy, right? We have water, and we have some breadcrumbs. So... When we think about sin, we think about maybe things that we did wrong, bad choices that we made. Um, it's kind of a, a, a hard thing when we're young to really put a picture to. So I wanna help you guys kind of picture what sin does to us and what those bad choices do to us and how Jesus helps us get rid of it. So the water, this is gonna be Jesus, okay? And this is going to be the sin, this chocolate sauce. So when we sin, tell me some things about when I put this chocolate sauce, what's going to happen? I'm going to put some on my hand, okay? Now what happens? It's kind of dirty, a little messy, right? It's sticky. It's spreading around my hand. What happens if I do a little bit more sin? You see how it's moving all over? It's going between my fingers. Sin is sticky. It's dark. It makes us feel kind of yucky, right? It slowly spreads and it takes over. Now, do you think that if I just wipe my hands, is this going to go away? Can I do it by myself? I can't, can I? Oh, look at this. The sin is spreading. Now, sometimes once we've already kind of done some sins and we have some sins on our heart, sometimes it's a little easier to make more bad choices. So here, this is some more bad choices that I have here. These choices are hard-edged. They're a little pokey. And this hand, it's easy not to keep those on this hand. But this hand already has some sin on it. So what's going to happen now? You see how now it's easier for me to do more sins when I've already started? Can I wipe this off by myself? Let's try. Let's use a napkin. Let's see if I can wipe this off by myself without help. I can try. It's still pretty messy. It's real sticky. I'm dripping all over the place. Sin doesn't just affect you, it affects the people around you. If I was to walk up to Pastor Evan and shake his hand, my sin's gonna affect him. And that's what happens, is when you sin, it doesn't just affect you, but it affects the people around you as well. And so that's why we have to really focus on God and keeping him in the center of our world and praying and making good choices. But what happens if you do make bad choices, if you do get, have sin on your heart? Is this going to be here forever? No. Jesus can wash our sin away. So what happens when I ask Jesus to help me wash my sin away? If I say a prayer and ask him to help me. My sin's washed away. And that is one of the amazing things with Jesus, is only he can wash our sins away. So even when you've made a bad choice, even when you did something that maybe was mean, or maybe you didn't listen, even though you made a bad choice, it's okay. Go to God. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to help you make better choices. We all make mistakes, guys. Even I make mistakes. Even sometimes I get upset and I yell. But you go to God and you ask for forgiveness. And then remember how that sin, it spreads. It affects others too. So ask forgiveness for those around you. If you yell at your friend, you got upset with them and you yell at them, talk to God, ask him to forgive you, and then go to your friend. Say, I'm sorry, do you, 
can you please forgive me for what I did? I know that that was wrong. So just remember, sin is icky. It's sticky. It doesn't go away easy. We can't wash it away, but God can. God can always wash our sins away, and God will always forgive us. Just find it in your heart to ask him. We'll see you guys later.